One of the most sacred events for a young Hasid is getting married. And today, Mendel Jakobsen is hours away from the single most important moment of his life, his wedding to Deborah Small. Oh yeah, I feel great. I feel at peace, which is interesting actually. <laughs> yeah, we just flew in from New York City. We just landed, morning the wedding ceremony. It was a great flight, we fell asleep. And now we're heading to the hotel. They have not seen or spoken to one another in a week, a custom in their community. It's about creating eternity. You know, marriage today has become somewhat like a party. You know, you, here it's, uh, it's about really sanctity, it's about eternity, it's about um, knowing the moment of truth that lasts forever. I'm already welling up, you know, just thinking about it. The bride is in a separate room where she receives congratulations from her female guests who also hope to get her blessing. On this day, the bride is considered almost holy. The women are in a special room and that's where everyone goes to the bride for um, a blessing. The bride has a tremendous honor and responsibility that she's thinking about the entire Jewish community. Shortly before his wedding, Mendel follows tradition by going before the other men of the community to speak about the mysticism of marriage. And then at a certain point, after I'm done repeating this Hasidic discourse, explaining the esoteric and mystical meanings of the whole event, the whole wedding, there will be a procession. And I will see the Dvorah for the first time in a week when I enter the room that she's in. For modesty, Mendel covers his bride's face with an opaque veil. It's a custom to have it under the stars, even if it's, the stars aren't out yet, it's still technically under the sky. Everything that is done has meaning behind it. Nothing is superfluous, nothing is just like a thing. The tradition has been done for hundreds of years, in some cases thousands of years. and the Rebbe's signature. English translation. By the grace of Hashem, and they too continue a ring in that eternal golden chain of Jewish continuity and eternity. The couple are swept off to a room where they will be alone together for the first time as a married couple. They're privately with each other as a husband and wife. They'll be there a few minutes and then they will go out, probably take some pictures and uh, then greet their guests and the party begins. see actually at the wedding ceremony men and women are separate even husbands and wives because it's celebrating the soul of it you don't want to focus on the body you want to focus on the soul the unity and the reason it's just a great celebration is because it's literally like the creation of the world it's two opposites coming together to create a new whole marriage. Devora completes me. <laughs> so it's very difficult for me to even imagine life any other way. <laughs> 